there is design that could be called art involved in the technical side of things on there. There's work that I've done that at the time I can think this is the right way to do it. It powerfully feels correct. And I suppose that's similar to an artistic sense in some ways where it's not so much that I've measured everything and I've quantitatively shown that this is correct, but many times there is just the sense, the, the voice of experience and all that's gone before where something comes up and sometimes it's even a fairly abrupt thing where I'm working something and then all of a sudden this is the right way to do it and it becomes clear. And that's, you know, that's very rewarding. It's not that I just look at things and say, here are all the tasks, let's start slogging through them one after another. I do want to, to come up with, because the elegant design is the thing that allows you to do something two years ahead of when it should have been possible. And that's so much of what I've done in technology where you don't need cleverness to do 3D games today. You know, the, the hardware is extraordinarily powerful and all you need to do is just not do a horrible job and it still comes out okay. But in the early days, it was what nobody thought was possible. And sure, you could have just waited and eventually the hardware would have been there and everybody could have done it. But the fact that I helped make something possible two or three years earlier than it would have been otherwise, you know, that's still a good thing. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing earlier. It's all that opportunity value.